Welcome to Back to the Bible. You are listening to Strength for the Journey, a daily devotional by Theodore F. November 27th. Can you see where you are going? 1 John chapter 1 verses 5 to 10. For a person to walk in the light requires that he first receive Christ as personal savior. The light of God's word must first have enlightened that person's heart and convicted him of his sin. That same light reveals to us the holiness of God and brings us to a reverential fear of Him, something foreign to the natural man. See Romans chapter 3 verse 18. That some light reveals to us how Christ came to reconcile us to God. To us is offered the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference. Verse 22. Christians who walk in the light become increasingly conscious of the holiness of God and of the sinfulness of sin. They are not deluded into denying that they have a sinful nature. They realize that they still have sinful tendencies that are expressed in fleshly impulses, non-spiritual inclinations and standards of living that are patterned after the world rather than after God. These are all sinful in the sight of God and to call them righteous rather than sinful is to walk in darkness. Should we even so much as waver in our trust in God? We sin for the word says, whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Romans chapter 14 verse 23. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John chapter 8 verse 12. Amen. Back to the Bible, leading people into a dynamic relationship with God.